Hello everyone and welcome to another random gameplay. When I did Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004, the idea was to set things up to be as hard as possible so that I would do poorly, but I did too well. So I thought about it more, and this little feature in Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2005 called Tiger Proofing, which I'll do on Emerald Dragon because I think that's the game's hardest course, is something that I will hopefully be able to destroy myself with. <laughs> Tiger proofing is a term used back to try and balance the field as Tiger Woods was dominating things. Of course, designers would make things harder at certain lengths and stuff like that to try and throw Tiger off and make the field more even. It didn't really work, because he still dominated. <laughs> but we're going to try it on myself here. Lower the fairway width. Increase the undulation. Dry out the fairways to keep the ball rolling into hazards, I guess. Uh, the rest, I guess, I'll just leave, because this sort of stuff is just all, like, for the look of things. Like, you can make things look really bad, but I, I don't think it actually has any effect on the, the course play itself, so we'll keep the original look for that, since, yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> Alright, Ruff, we're growing you to the max! <laughs> Bunkers! Deepen! Uh, this one I'm actually gonna make wet. Wait, that's the wrong direction. Yeah, because I think the the gooier sand will be more difficult to get out of. Green. Undulation. Well, actually, I'll start with the width, of course. With the tiny undulation. Massive, although it only looks like it's affecting a small bit of that. Dryness, extra dry. You can actually see the sunbeams come out. See that? Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. All that's customization of colors and stuff like that. Extra wind! Maximum tree thickness! And I guess we'll go with the rest. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Okay, I think we're good. We're gonna apply that to the course. All whole changes, not just the active menu, which would be the fairway. All whole changes. And we are not testing. <laughs> No, we are not. We are going to try and destroy ourselves blind. <laughs> and uh, if you would like to, that's why I kind of showed this early here, you can try and follow along on your copy with what I did here, like maximize all the stuff that I did here, if you dare, and <laughs> if you're feeling masochistic, because it's going to be ugly. <laughs> I'm not sure I recommend this, but okay, um, Emerald Dra- wait, wait, no, why did I- went too far. Emerald Dragon. Uh, I guess summer, because that's the dryness, and I don't think it actually affects that. I think it's just more of a aesthetic thing, if I recall correctly. Uh, we'll do, just to be extra beautiful, I was like the golf at night, so we'll go midnight. I mean, I always wanted the golf at night, so midnight. There are courses you can play at night, by the way. They have spotlights all across the, the course. It's really cool looking. Uh, and of course, go to the maximum tees. <laughs> Expert. Uh, not this time. I think the rain made things too easy for me to just stick the ball where I wanted it to. Uh, I think it's just between that and Tor. Tor turns off a bunch of stuff that... Yeah, I think like the grids and whatnot, so I'm just gonna leave that as is. Uh, yeah. Maybe it's technically not the hardest, but a Tor just doesn't really work. <laughs> I think because they turn off the grids and you're trying to read the greens and stuff like that without the grids, and it just. Yeah, it's not like real life green reading, let's put, it, let's put it that way. Welcome to Emerald Dragon, a course that presents as much of a challenge as you're in the market for. Hello everyone, I'm Gary McCord for EA Sports. David Ferdy is ready to call the action from the course, and it looks like the players are ready at the first tee. Oh geez, we're doomed. <laughs> 34 mile per hour win. Hold the X button to get yourself aimed over here, L button to go down a club, R button to go up a club. I'm, I mean, on this, at least in this game, I focused on the lower end of my bag, 
So I just kind of went driver, three wood, and then I went blah, 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 to the two iron, yeah. So that is my strategy here, I guess you could say, is to kind of hopefully hold my own against this stuff with accurate approaches, more than anything. Okay, I'm going to hold back with the three wood and avoid Always the bunker. The general direction of the spinach patch. What? No! <laughs> spin, 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 spin! <laughs> But yeah, you can. Here's your chance to well, make something out of a bad situation. Well, yeah, you can spin your ball sometimes back into play by mashing the Z button while holding a direction, but not the time. <laughs> I just want to cross the water anyway. We're, we'll be okay. I'm. I hope. <laughs> just gonna go for the fairway here. Bunk. I know it's a wood out of the rough, which is, I don't think this is gonna probably a bad idea, but. Eh, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> what do you mean it's not gonna get there? It's going to the fairway just fine. <laughs> there we go. It should be all right. Man, that that is really dry. <laughs> it just keeps rolling. What do you have down there, David? 180 yards. There, there, but. Can I get this ball to stay on the green? Probably not. <laughs> Could be in some trouble here. Uh, with what though? That's the bunker. Oh wow, that wind That's really knocked shot. it back. <laughs> into the bunker. Oh boy. Oh man, this is what I was hoping for. This is what we were going for, guys. <laughs> and, oh, I, sure I went up because exactly it said buried 62%, but that wasn't enough, I guess. All right. Looks playable from here. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, look, <laughs> my stance. Uh, just aim off to the side because of that stance. And maybe should do a chipper. Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit up in the power, though. Alright. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> well, again, this is a nice lie. If this is what I was hoping for! <laughs> This is why you should play test your holes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try a little flopperoo, I guess. Just a little flopperoo. Oh shoot! <laughs> We're just gonna go back and forth on here all day and all night. Oh, well, it's a chip again. Uh, maybe not a full chip. Wow. <laughs> In the first <laughs> wow, in the deedly do. Uh, I'm gonna try it again with a little bit longer backswing. E. All right, I think we're finally on the green. I. Th <laughs> <laughs> All right. Straight. Oh no, they got the caddy tips again. Will it go in though? Might be just a Ooh. <laughs> Ah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I don't know what the... Uh, he was talking about not getting to the green or something like that. Like, get, not getting there on the second shot. That's a par 5 of massive length here. Like, I mean, massive length. Tiger tees. Fantasy tees on a fantasy course. Yeah, this isn't a real course this time. It's actually made specifically for the series. And it's a doozy. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a uh, tight landing area you got there. Is there anything fatter <laughs> other than having to go back like 800 yards? Like, I mean, that's okay to land on, but that's not really going to get me to the green on, in two shots. It's 564 yards. I'm going to aim way over there and hopefully... Things could get a little difficult after this no, 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 no. Spin left then. Spin left. M -m 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 Aha! You didn't call it right. Or, or maybe you did. <laughs> okay, what's gonna happen? Please, oh no, oh no! <laughs> oh no! Please have mercy on my ball. <laughs> this is like... This is like I tried stuff out, so things just keep on rolling. Well, looks like we might be hitting it twice at least before we get on the fucking green. Uh, Come on, give me a call when you get something relevant. <laughs> um, let's see, maybe I can roll it on there. Get driver off the deck. Well, I don't know, maybe I'll go three wood with a little extra power instead. 
And where it goes is where it goes. Uh, that rough of all places, really? Okay. All right. Don't panic, virtual PK Gam. We still have a shot. <laughs> uh, eighty-two percent at the. Well, there's also the power of the wind too to take into account. So maybe I'll go to the approach wedge. Don't be surprised if this one winds up on the rough. Uh, really? Too far? Are you kidding me? That was a bad decision. Really? Now it's time to suffer the consequences. I am I a little baffled by that. Oh no! 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 This is gonna go in the water. <laughs> um. I would prefer to be somewhere around here if I could help it. Oh no! No, 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 don't, don't go through this again! No, please, dear Arceus, no! No, no, okay. I think we're good. <laughs> Too fast? Too fast. That looks pretty straight. Uh, well, I think it says a little bit right, but I mean aim a little bit right, but I definitely have to aim long. But I mean, in terms of what the what the break was telling me, let's see, what we've got uh, nice. I mean, it was a bogey, but still, that's that's an improvement. <laughs> By the way, this car said the back back tees is eight thousand seven hundred twenty-two yards. <laughs> I don't think there's any course that long in real life, except for this one that's at uh, like a high altitude because your ball flies farther. So <laughs> that's an that's an exceptional one. This is regular altitude conditions, and how am I gonna land that on <laughs> with the wind sideways? I guess I'll aim like way over here, and then give a little extra power. Eh. Ah. Don't be surprised if this one is moist. Oh, jeez, not moist. Not that word. <laughs> well, that's... Hmm. What do I do for that, then? Hmm. Like, oh, no. Well, it's on the fairway, but that's not... Well, it is closer. I'm like at the front tees now. <laughs> yeah, that wind being a little bit in my face, it maybe threw me off. I don't know. I think I was aiming in about the right spot. I did not have enough oomph. Could be heading for the old Agua. Oh no! <laughs> Backspin. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this could roll in the bunker. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah, um, there's a thing called Tiger Vision too, which you can use to basically get a read off of anything. But I'm not aiming to use that because, you know, difficulty and whatnot, so. Um, um uh, I'll try it about there. Just so hard to read when there's not a grid line or a line in general. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it, there is when you're up around the hole, but when you've got that cursor over the hole, I mean, but I mean, uh, actually, no, there isn't a, there isn't a grid here, I just noticed. Oh... Oh, so maybe the tour thing didn't have any difference on that. What? Ooh, not a great effort on this putt. Are you par pardon me? You gonna tap it in though at least? Okay. Very disappointing. <laughs> well, <And fair>. well, <laughs> that's where we are currently nine over par. We'll we'll get through this though. We'll get through this together. <laughs> no announcer commentary, so I'm just gonna skip it this time. And. At least it didn't seem like there's gonna be announcer commentary there. Just gonna go and hopefully flow. This could be a problem, although there'll be a little more fiber in the diet. <laughs> will it though? Oh yes, it will. That's <laughs> wow, that really rolled. Anybody seen a lawnmower? This stuff is thick. I mean, yeah, I know dryness and, and stuff like that. That was the idea, but still, that felt really, really long. I mean, like it, we're hot rolled out. Um, I'll just play something safe here. <laughs> I'll just hopefully get out and to the fairway. I can't be certain, but this looks like it's heading for the rough. Mm. Hmm. In the rough. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just trying to read the wind. You know, get the feel of the wind and stuff like that. Uh, well, okay, okay, we've got something here. I think we've got something here. Light rough. Wind is with us. <laughs> 
Should be sandwich. Eh. If I'm not mistaken, that's a 56 degree sandwich. Mm -hmm. Ah, playing that rollout. Oh no, don't roll off. <laughs> it hasn't stopped yet. No, oh, still gone. Okay. This part's for par. <laughs> Can I get? Oh man. <laughs> Can I get a par? Probably not. Um, yeah, based on that, I would say about there. Oh! <laughs> Does it stop? Does it ever stop? Oh no! <laughs> Play test your holes, folks. Play test your holes. All right, I'm back on the fairway. I what happened here? <laughs> what happened is the, the greens are set up like <laughs> the U.S. Open. I should say the USGA sets up the U.S. Open <laughs> in ridiculous fashions, uh, unfair fashions. Mm. Let's stay though. Okay. All right. That technically was off the green, so does it count as a putt? I don't think it does. <laughs> is it really straight in? Is it? Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, I, I shouldn't say it's unfair because if someone else was playing, I should say, a whole other field, you know, if this was, say, yeah, it, it would sort of be like everyone is playing under the same conditions, per se, I guess you could say, in that regard. Well, although. Although, it, hmm, outcomes would be like 50-50, so maybe it would be very luck-based, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I, I always try and look at that factor into things. Uh, um, I'll try and get up to that fairway up top there. He really grooved this shot. Cosmic, totally tubular. You mean it was good? Didn't get too much of it. Oh. It was not. <laughs> it's in the bunker, but it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, maybe that was the wrong analogy that I, that because you know everyone's playing under the same conditions. I don't know how I would put it. It it, it it's ridiculous. Let's put it that way. That's that's the idea. All right, so eighty percent. So I want. Although the wind, maybe I should just go approach wedge. E. And and well, need a big shot here to clear the rough. Huh? What do you mean big shot? <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. Can't I like? Uh, uh, oof. I might actually have to do like a half flop here. Eep, eep. Oh, that one's gonna have to get lucky to miss this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as I mentioned before in the other video, it's a lot more awkward when you are uh, trying to do only partial shots, so, yeah. Well, well, it is a skill. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try it. Oh, I guess I have to chip. Just go a little boop. Okay, but will it stay? <laughs> The grains! It's like a kitchen floor! <laughs> oh, that one's in the deep stuff. <laughs> Don't panic there, virtual PK Gam. Get a little tricky. Uh, well, actually, this is. This is. What? What, are you kidding me? Um. Hold on a sec. Uh, just open the disc cover and. What the poop? <laughs> Well, let's see if it reads fine from here. And we're off! Does it go in? I was, as I was saying, this one looks like the most reasonable putt I've had yet. That was insane. Okay! I'll take it! Everything's been a bogey, so I'll take it. <laughs> and... Please don't tick up Mr. Disc. I wonder why that did that. I don't, like, it's a, like, it immediately started reading it again when I... Uh, opened it up, put the disc cover back down. Yeah. yeah anyway, 
Maybe it had a fingerprint on it or something from way back when I played this. I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is I'm gonna try playing this safe. It's it looks relatively manageable. Com dang it, really? It looks relatively manageable compared to the uh, other stuff we've been through thus far. So I'm just well, that's eh, fine, I guess. Uh, really, you're giving me dr oh, it's light rough. Okay, I was gonna say you're giving me driver out of the rough, but yeah, I guess that's usable. As long as it's like propped up in the rough, you can actually hit the driver out of the rough. Yeah. Watch out! This one's not looking good. Oh, no shot is looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm glad this continued playing, by the way. <laughs> because I don't know. Like, if the disc borked after so and so many years or something like that, maybe maybe it would be unplayable or something like that, which would be kind of sad. So, But it looks like we're okay. I'm assuming the wind's going to carry it, but... I, I, well, I assume you're incorrectly. I, <laughs> I, I figure with the rough conditions and nope, nope, incorrect. Uh, I'll try and do that little flop, like a half flop. Well, he's gonna scatter a few leaves oh! <laughs> yep, this is definitely for the masochists. Uh, actually, it's not that bad. Maybe I'll just go. I'm trying to. Read with my eyeballs. And... Oh, it nicked the Sometimes edge. Just isn't fair. But look at that! Just the bogey! <laughs> Unbelievable! Bogeys are like pars here. <laughs> Alright. Next up. The doom approaches. <laughs> A big crevice. <laughs> Longness. Bunkers. Water. Oh my. <laughs> and yeah, now it's a commentary. I should just skip those, like I said. Uh, I think if I really rocket it, I could hit over to that side of the fairway. It'll bounce from one fairway to the other. So, bloop. That's not the straightest shot I've ever seen. Yes, it is. <laughs> Okay, so the wind really, like, I, I, I'm having great difficulties reading the wind here. Well, it jumped off into the first cup, but certainly nothing unmanageable here. Yeah, it's light rough, despite me growing it to a foot in length, so we should be good. <laughs> it looked like I grew it to a foot in length, but apparently not. Okay, I'm gonna just power through it. Hopefully not go in the water. Unfortunately, this could be headed for the bunker. Hmm? Really? That far back, huh? Interesting. I thought it was gonna at least get over the bunker and then skip over to the next fairway over. And now it's buried in the bunker, so I probably cannot make the green, so... I should probably just aim for... the patch of fairway in front here. Like, somewhere about there, I think. Eh. Yeah, that... WOW! It's like the wind is... Sorry to say, but, uh, not like the wind blew it backwards or something. I... <laughs> Wait a second, do I have? To find the swing? I was gonna say, do I have a rock behind me or something? But no, not really gonna show me. I guess it's not hindering anything. I think. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just try and get it up to that peninsula there. No. This could be headed towards the drink. Wow. That didn't even have enough height. <laughs> Oh yeah, and uh, they changed the ruling on uh, how you drop the ball. You now drop it at knee height. So keep that in mind for your pro ruling, uh, I mean, for your pro uh, needs. Uh, okay, so assuming that the wind's really going to kick it backwards. Things might get a little dicey before we finish this hole. Still, yeah, I'm definitely not reading the wind properly here. Uh, okay, can I just chip? I'm not close enough to do a chip. <laughs> uh, must I do a pitch? Because I don't know if I can stop this one. Just go boop. It's like a three-quarter swing. See, now watch it. Watch it. Watch what'll happen. It's gonna roll off, I betcha. Oh no, it didn't. I'm surprised. Just finish it. Hmm. 
very tough. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Um. Uh, I don't know about three feet five inches short. <laughs> Compared to what the caddy tip said, I just I just wanted to hit the hole, you know. Oh, oh! Maybe because of that ridge, they didn't want me to go over. I don't know. <laughs> what the heck? Because you've seen that little ridge. <laughs> ah! Well, to the pro shop repair we go. <laughs> don't get that mad, PK Gam. It's just a game, and it clubs. They're kind of expensive. <laughs> Actually, not if you go used. They're, they're pretty okay then. <laughs> Alright, we're good. This we're good. Put an end to the hole. Alright! That was my worst yet. <laughs> we survived it. <laughs> I have not seen a 10 on a scorecard in, in ages. <laughs> Actually, I think I got one on Golf Story. Didn't I? On like the last hole of... Actually, I shouldn't spoil anything. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I got one on there, but... Maybe it was a nine. Oh. Anyway, next hole. <laughs> uh, so, okay, since I keep misreading the win, I'm going to play for less win than I think I need to play for. And also more rollouts. Will it be fairway? Will it be fairway? Will it be fair or I know? <laughs> Definitely found the rough. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Um, still not, may not be hopeless. Okay, it's very hopeless. <laughs> look at the look at the green on the little the 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 mound. I should say the pin position at the very least on the mound. Um, well, if I scooch it along the rough, I should at least make the fairway. You know that rough with a uh, like tree is. Rough. Yeah, let's see here. No, no, too much rollout. You're smarter than that. Well, you that's okay. I, I, I don't know what I could do, with Faraday. Please have mercy on me. <laughs> you tried playing this course. <laughs> uh, I'll try there. Pitch shot with nice the wind. Should be on the green. Yes. Actually, decent approach shot! <laughs> I wasn't trying to thread the needle or anything. Then again, I'm not trying to thread the needle in general. It's just everything is a lot more needly than it may appear because of the. Um, the. like how much things roll, basically. Uh, now that looked like it was gonna really roll. Am I actually gonna make this putt? Am I act holy moly? That's one of the best shots you're ever likely Up to see. Par! I did it! I got one that isn't over par. <laughs> I'm not counting it on it for the next one. It's 245 yards of death for a par three. <laughs> no commentary. Okay, skip then. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go. Kind of try and stop the ball with backspin with a regular swung two iron here. And hope for the best. Ooh! It's headed for the rough, but it might not be too bad. Is it? It wow! Can it bounce off the rock, please? Oh, oh, that would be impossible to swing at if you are a right-hander. I wouldn't call this a crime. Oh, they oh they move me from it, so they actually do like a automatic drop or something. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I want to flop this. Because it's very high up, as you can see by that. Yeah. And I want it to stop quickly, so... I'm going to try in like a three-quarter flop. <laughs> well, that's... That's decent, I guess. I can putt that. Yes! Can I get two pars in a row? Probably not! Is, is it one of these, those, these things where you miss it goes right off the green? <laughs> Could be! Um, yeah, it looked like somewhere around there based on that line. No! That's okay. As long as it didn't go off the green. Because then probably tapped that end. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
So I got gimme. Yeah, whatever, I'll take it. <laughs> 57 on the front. <laughs> That's like the average golfer's scar for nine holes in real life. And... We are off. No commentary again. Maybe they're like, I give up on him. I don't know how to even commentate this anymore. He's so far over par. It's hopeless. It's hopeless. Oh wait, I can go driver here. I probably should just do that in cases where I can because of the the distance of the holes. The rough again, really? <laughs> how is this possible to go in the rough? Oh, oh I see. It's just... Okay. I thought I was just gonna roll him. Got a break there. Got a pretty good lie after a pretty mediocre swing. I wouldn't say it was mediocre. <laughs> so tiny of a landing area. Oh shoot! I only have a sand wedge as my. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> How do I alter the distance of this so I land between the bunker and the back side of the green without going over? Oh, this could find the rough. Okay, that the played way too much wind. I mean, well, I mean, I played for too much wind that wasn't actually going to affect the ball, I guess. If I flop this, is that going to hit the tree above my head? <laughs> Just may. I don't know if I have much of a choice here. Half flop, probably? Oh, it hit the tree! Ah, oh, that helped me! <laughs> Hazard green. <laughs> Alright. For par. Oh man. This is exotic. <laughs> yeah. All right, maybe I'm getting the hang of these conditions. <laughs> maybe I can do this after all. Maybe I'll be able to get everything in in one shot from here on out and finish under par. Okay, that'll never happen. But <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny thought. Man, that is some thin fairways. <laughs> it was all the way I set it up, though, as you've seen. Applying everything to every part of the course. Alright, so I guess I want to go... Land it way back so that it rolls out to the fairway over there. Probably. Just don't go in the bunker or rough. Here's a drive right down the middle of the fairway. Okay. Alright, we got it. We got it this time. <laughs> One time. Out of a hundred shots. Okay, it's not gonna, not a not hundred, but it could very well be a hundred by the time I finish this. Uh, <laughs> now we've got the extra thin fairway. How about you just go over to this chunky spot? Just go three wood and then power it out. Uh, against the wind. Well, I, I don't know if it'll reach the fairway, but it'll at least be dry. Even if it goes in the rough over there, like between the fairways. And then, 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 uh, will it make it to the fairway? Oh, so close. So close. Yeah, it, it looked like it would have gone in between the fairways, like I said, but it just ended up short there in general, so maybe I should have pumped harder on the power. Um, love their commentary, but, um, I don't know how I can manage this one. Because there's water between me and everything. And there's the tree in front of the green. Let's try there. Is it actually good? Is it actually... Oh! Oh. <laughs> no, it is not. The game thought it could have been good, though. Um, oh, actually, we got something good here, though. For once, we're in a decent range. <laughs> Maybe I should have had a lob wedge in here instead of the sand wedge. Uh, I think I'll just go pitch shot after all. And just kind of roll it down that slope. See that how it's bending down the middle of the green? Over to the right. Yeah, I think if I aim there, it should go by the hole. Maybe. <laughs> this looks good. Really good. Uh -huh. Oh, I think I hit it past. Yeah, I hit it past that oh, slope that I was shot. talking about. Okay, well, should be fine. We're okay. We are still 
these straight in. That's not going to hop the hole. Yeah, that looks like it's going to go really fast. I'm going to pull that back. I'm not going to trust the caddy. Just going to straight it, but not as much power. All right. We're, yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of this now. I think. I'm getting the hang of this. I'll probably not not see a birdie here, but <laughs> I'm still get, getting the hang of it anyway. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, skip. <laughs> no commentary. You get skipped. Uh, I guess I just aim straight it out, straight out there, because the chunkiest parts where I'm aiming to anyway. Where it's gonna land? Excuse me. The next shot will be from the roughage. Really? Hard that far stuff. back because of the wow because of the wind um <laughs> well then well I guess I could probably get get away with using a three wood there and it'll end up on this portion of fairway over here not all the way up here because of the wind and everything like that let's see um, no nope, roll out <laughs> <laughs> Dang you, mill tank. Dang you, mill tank. All I know is what's going through my mind is this may have been a horrible, horrible idea. <laughs> nah, it's kind of fun to try this sort of shot making in the ridiculous conditions. Really? Thought the wind would pull it more to the right. Hmm, okay. Well, we're still in decent, con decent shape here. We got 60% buried, which means we have some play in our distance here. I think I'll just go with that. Eh. You'll be happy with this. See it bounce off the rough and towards the hole? Yes. Very nice. That's a thing that you can use in real life golf too, is that you can land the ball in the rough to slow its rollout rather than directly on the green. And you can maybe hit a tighter pin location, but it's kinda risky. So it's it's a judgment call. And that should go in. That's not gonna get it done. I'll take it. <laughs> the commentators, David Faraday, Gary McCord, not happy with my performance, but I don't think they were programmed for this sort of scenario. <laughs> too, too many variables <laughs> with all the course setups. For, for them to expect you to shoot this high, basically. Alright, no commentary, you get skipped. Mm, actually, I'm gonna go driver here. Because I think to get that win, I can cut all the way over to that fairway over there. With, like, if I increase my power. Nah, 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 nah. Mm. Ah, max power! Holy moly! That Oh No! Okay, yeah, that's actually rough, fine. 429 yards! That is some powerful wind. Alright, pitch shot. Don't play as much wind as you have been, PK Gam. <laughs> For those short shots. Yeah, I'll take that. I think... I think, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> the birdie will help here. I can actually get a birdie. I can actually get a birdie. Alright, we're gonna go from 21 over to 20 over, if this works out. Yes! I don't believe it! Yes! <laughs> An actual red mark on the card. Never did I think I would see the day. I am improving, as you see, so... Oh, the signature hole, of course. In the shape of a dragon. Pretty cool, right? Yep, 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 I think it is, at least. <laughs> and that was a pretty quick preview for such an epic hole. But alas, alas, it's dangerous when there's this much wind. I'm gonna try 5-iron way back here. Somewhere around there, I think will be good. As long as I don't go in the water. Looks like it's heading for the rough. Eh, really? The wind didn't even push it that far forward at all. Because I was playing that by the the fluff of his neck. Not much of a shot from. And it landed at the fluff of the neck. Yeah, definitely not much of a shot. Um. Oh yeah, that's brick by the way. Uh, so if you land your ball in there, it's just gonna fly. 
I'm gonna aim for, I guess the, I don't know, it's all, it, the green is so small, I don't know where to aim for. I guess by the hole is the biggest portion of the green, or at least my best shot at it. Like a three quarter flop shot maybe. Uh, oh, so close. Can I, can I putt this at least? Yes, I can. Real big break to the left here. Mm, really? There's that much break? Oh no! Is it, is it gonna be one of those things where it's gonna flop over to Doom Town on the left side of the green? If unavailable, even. <laughs> like if I miss, this is gonna go way off the left side and in the water or something. This will be short. Okay. Straight in. It doesn't look like it. It looks like I should aim a little right. And a little short. Maybe you'll start focusing okay. better after that bogey. That's a that that's as much as I can focus under these conditions. <laughs> Seven hundred thirteen yard par five. That could be easy. <laughs> it's long, but my character, depending on the wind, it can drive pretty quick. I mean, pretty quick, pretty far. So, yeah, it might not be much. Of, well, mm, yeah, will be will be a factor. <laughs> Whee! Don't be surprised, McCord, if this catches the rough. I didn't play enough to the right. Wow. Ooh! Or maybe I just hit the tree. <laughs> nah, that definitely was too far left of where I should have been aiming. Alright, so even more then. Although this is a shorter shot, so. No, 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 no. And. The moment of truth! Oh. <laughs> Don't panic again, PK Gam. But is that gonna hit the tree if I just aim straight? Because <laughs> I have to aim. Yeah, um. What if I curve the ball a little bit? I curved it left to right. I could do that by swinging like this. This isn't looking good, I'm afraid. By swinging like pulling to the back right and then pushing front left, and it'll make a fade out of it. But it helps to resist the wind a little bit sometimes. That's really not that bad, considering the conditions again, as I keep mentioning. Um, kind of between clubs again. <laughs> Uh How about a, how about a flop? It's like a, a powerful flop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be any roll here. That's the idea. Okay. <laughs> We're good. We are good, I think. For par. If this one goes in, it's par. <sighs> oh, that's actually pretty pretty doable actually. <laughs> The most doable looking thing in a while. Yeah. Ooh. This could be close. Close or in? Please be in. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Three more to go, and we are good. I'm low on battery on my game recording camera, though, so I gotta be quick. <laughs> All right, let's go. No commentary anyway. So I thought I charged it, but I don't know. It's maybe it's getting old. I'm gonna go way over there. Because the wind. This could find the shaggy. Pardon me? What, did I hit the tree off the tee? Horrible situation. Not sure how he's going to play uh, this. Maybe even sideways is an option. <laughs> uh, well, I'll just whack it out three iron. It's pretty flat. It's not the worst shot I've ever seen. Mm, spin it left. Hopefully, I'll be able to keep it intact. Oh! Oh! Fairway! You exist! You... You exist in this place! You're so plush under my feet, too! <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and try and resist the wind with a decently powered pitching wedge to go for the chunky part of the green. Actually, no. Yeah, I think 9 iron. Yeah. And... I just... It just cut me off. <laughs> I mean, the camera cut me off. Hold on a sec. Alright, I let it charge for like 10 minutes, so... That should be enough to finish this bad boy off. 
assuming things go smoothly enough. <laughs> but we're only on the last three holes. Ah, so close. I knew I was going to come close on that one because it, it just, Not a good putt just seemed like based on the line I had the right right idea of that, but nope. Nope, not quite. I'm gonna actually hit harder than what they say there, because of the... Yeah, hitting it harder than what they say can help take out the break and things, and yeah. Just uh, get, get your ball, man. Don't blame the ball. Blame the player. <laughs> okay, and the course architect of yourself. <laughs> okay, maybe you should blame yourself. And now, as you'll notice at the beginning, we got some fishy fish at the tea boxes. I mean, as the tea boxes. It's a pretty neat little touch there. And now I've got to try and land this somewhere safe. Not go in the water. Although, if I go in the water, at least I'll be on land after that. I have a feeling this is going in the drink. Ah, uh, will it? Oh, no, 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 no. oh wow. <laughs> yep, he was right. Nothing immediately springs to mind. <laughs> it's positive because I got across. Yes, that is what's positive. You gotta think outside the box. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Really straight in. And it looks pretty. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Two bogeys, one birdie, two more bogeys, lots and lots of bogeys on the front line. This is probably a world record under these conditions. <laughs> um, okay, so this actually could be a problem. Okay, everything's a problem in this setup, but <laughs> the thing about it is I need to... Looks like it's heading for the rock. I need to get it out there pretty far. But there's the water and oh, this ball's in the rough. should have actually held back on the spin. I should like put backspin on instead of forward spin. I thought I was gonna yeah. Oh well, okay. Just aim for the chunk. Aim for the chunky part of the green right there. Whoa! Will it work? I'm gonna actually push forward. Oh. This actually could be very It'll bad. Be long, long putt from there. <laughs> if you think about it, because there is, yeah, the death. Wait, I can't change. Oh, what? I can't change to. Oh, I forgot about that. I can't change to a wedge. <laughs> I would very much appreciate a wedge. Thank you very much. Um, I guess I'll have to use the heavy slope here and try and make it to the hole, or at least two putt it. E. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, now okay, now I can chip. <laughs> um guess like a half chip? I think it's gonna roll off the green either way. Like it's just going eh. Trying to hit a little bump and run. Oh well, that's a good end. <laughs> and with that Oh wow, I I actually broke a hundred! <laughs> And with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. I absolutely must charge the camera now. <laughs>